Good morning, everybody. Pastor Bill with another Friday Philip. Last night I was talking to my brother about the upcoming elections and his perspective on some things and how he chooses who he votes for. Um, I don't like politics. I don't like, more, more importantly than I don't like politics, I don't like the impact it has on people. Um, it brings out the worst in a lot of people, I guess is, is the most polite way I can put it. So Paul wrote a letter to Titus in the Bible, the book of Titus is a, is a letter. And it's about the duties of elders and bishops. Um, different denominations have different ideas on what, what, a, what a bishop is or what an elder is. But regardless of that, it's a letter on essentially how Christians should be acting. So Titus 3, 1 through 3, says, Remind them to be subject to rulers and authorities, to be obedient, to be ready for every good work, to speak evil of no one, to avoid quarreling and be gentle, and to show every courtesy to everyone. For we ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, led astray, slaves to various passions and pleasures, passing our days in malice and envy, despicable, hating one another. Paul isn't saying just accept the status quo government. He's saying for, for the moment, that's who's in place. And essentially stop bad-mouthing everybody, stop throwing stones, you know, act as Christians should be acting. Um, it's kind of sad that, you know, almost 2,000 years later, we're still having the same sort of problems that Paul was trying to straighten out then. And as children of God, we should carry ourselves in a way that honors God. We can have our differences, but we can still be honoring to God through those differences. With as many opinions as I've seen on Facebook and social media about any given things, I don't think I've ever changed my stance on any political belief based on a Facebook post. I will say, however, that those types of things have changed my opinion on the person posting them. I think that's really something to consider as we go through these next few months of a lot of stone throwing and whatnot that has become our, our country's politics. So just have a little more tolerance. Think about how you're carrying yourself as, as a representative of God. You're, you know, you're God's child. You are his image here on earth. And that should be reflected in all your actions, including your political views. Have a blessed day and we'll see you next week.